And the minute that you understand that you can poke life and actually something will, you know, if you push in, something will pop out the other side, that you can, you can change it, you can mold it, um, that's maybe the most important thing. This is me. As a kid, I was extremely curious and wanted to learn everything. Besides studying, competitive swimming and tennis, I did many other things. I taught myself how to skateboard and later jump off the stairs that only a few other skateboarders ever did. One summer, I fell in love with skateboarding, so much so that I spent over 100 hours and most of my savings building a track in my backyard. Without it, I would never go on to compete at European Championships. When not involved with sports, I took care of my aquariums, my main hobby. To cut costs on equipment, I built myself a filter, lightning system, and vibration number. My aquariums were also my very first business. Every two weeks, I would cut down underwater plants and sell them online. This is how my life looked like when I was a kid. I explored, I discovered, and I learned. Then, I turned 15, and I was about to begin my greatest adventure. I decided that I want to change the world. No, I'm actually serious here, that's what I wanted. I started with a plan, a strategy. To accomplish my goal, I needed education, and the best place to get it was MIT. To increase my chances of getting in, I realized I had to go to a very good high school. Luckily, I already knew about two national-wide competitions that offered scholarships at some of the best high schools in the world. So the plan was ready and I got right into execution. After six months of writing applications, attending interviews and endless rehearsals, I received two letters saying, we apologize, but this year's application pool was very competitive. I didn't give up though. Instead, I decided to act smart. Instead of getting scholarship for a competition, why don't I reach out to high schools directly? And not only those 20 included in the competition, but 10 times more. Run. I spent next month reaching out to 198 best high schools in Europe, hoping that there will be at least one who will say yes. This time, I didn't lose. I received free scholarship offers and decided to spend my two next years at Stonyhurst College in England. I used my time there to the fullest. I aced my international baccalaureate exams, I built a small power station and represented Britain at the World Championships in Robotics. Eventually, however, despite my performance, I got rejected by MIT. This let me down, but not for long. I went on to study at the University of Bristol, one of the top engineering schools in England. There, I got involved with many interesting projects and managed to finish both freshman and sophomore year ranked first in my class. My journey didn't go quite according to the plan, but I am happy with the way it turned out. I learned that things don't happen overnight, that even years of practice don't guarantee 100% success, and that even though the odds are pretty low, it is still worth trying.